Hi, I am Ghanisham Khilar from Career Web Technology. Today we are going to see uh, how to create an alarm in Siemens S7 1200 PLC and it should be dis display on HMI. Uh, let's take an, a CPU from here and I am taking any one of these. Let's take S7 1200 that is CPU 1212C DC DC DC. That means you see this is the transistor type PLC. Okay, now it will take some time to create okay now the cpu is being selected okay now the plc is selected and now i am going to take the uh, main block i am to going to yes this is main block or organization block okay then now i am going to take i am going to create an alarm here okay not i am going to take three alarm here okay i am going to take three alarm here okay now you can check here as an input m0.0 i am taking here then this is the alarm in 20.0 this is the another one alarm and you have you can take m0.0 so oh, okay m0.1 this is another alarm and uh, 20.0 this is my uh, not to zero this is one okay this is another one m 0 0.2 this is into m 20.2 this is my third alarm what we have to do now you have to go the plc tag click here the so all tag now i am not going to change all these things as i have already discussed in previous video you can check okay now i am just i am typing here this is the alarm and i am okay i i am this is not boolean i am doing it integer when this will be uh, an integer then this address should be changed for mw20 okay now now i have to take this one okay check then select the smi from the HMI, okay. From HMI, I have selected the seven inch display. This is the KTP 700 basic, and I have selected this HMI like the PLC. This will also take some time to be created. Now, the Siemens HMI is being selected, okay. And uh, now, what I have to do then just browse here select the plc model and not and i am i am not going to see this uh, this this discussion about this thing. and i so i am just directly going to the next 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 then finish okay now the base screen or home screen or a root screen is created this is a this is a welcome note you can uh, you can erase this one or you can edit or whatever you can do it for your requirement i am typing here this is the alarm okay then and then this is the in, con in control you can see here this is the alarm you can just drag and drop here okay drag and drop here then uh, what you have to do as you have given here plc tag then similarly you have to do the uh, you have to mention here the hmi tag yes i have created here and i have typed here okay just type here the alarm is i have okay i have to mention here the hmi connection and the same address in as i have mentioned here the integer that mw20 alarm so i have to select this one okay now it will take some time okay now this is selected what we have to do we have to go now hmi alarm this is the most important part of this alarm part as i have as we have taken three alarm so i am taking three alarm here and in trigger tag we have to mention that alarm here on all these we have to mention the same okay we have mentioned here same 
this is the most important part this is the, the trigger number this is the trigger number is the most important part you have to do, do here this is this is the eight a uh, number eight trigger bit eight bit a uh, okay you have to do here nine and you have to do here ten ah uh, yes this is eight this is nine and this is ten that means in uh, inside the mw20 uh, mw20 or uh, m20.0 is a number eight m20.1 is a number nine m20.3 uh, is uh, m20.2 is a 10 why this why the m20.0 is not zero why this is eight and what what is what is the working principle of mw uh, mw0 mw20 uh, you can see my previous video as uh, or i will provide the description uh, description or link inside below this video you can watch why this is number eight why this is no, not no, uh, not zero okay so i am going to uh, now i am going to the plc then i am going to compile this one okay this is uh, okay and i am going to the uh, simulation mode click here okay then again okay okay then i am going to minimize this one or i am going to okay okay we have to i am going to select the pni pni stands for pn that means profinet and i that means industrial ethernet just start start search here now these two devices will be communicated Okay, now 192.168.0.1. Uh, this is the uh, this is the default IP address of Siemens PLC or Siemens PLC. Now, now the PLC is compiling. Okay, okay. Now you have to do here start module, then finish, then finish here. Okay, now simulation module is on. Now I am going to online mode. Go online, then mon on monitor. This is a monitor on. Okay, it's like you have oh, we have done here in PLC. We have to do same thing with the root screen or base screen or home screen of SMI. What we have to do? We have to do compile this one. Yes, compiling is going on. Okay, another another thing I have forget. Sorry what we have to do here in in alarm you have to mention here the alarm text what type of alarm here this is a number eight but what type of alarm here you have to mention that you have you have given here you have given here this is the m20.0 what is this one what is that alarm what is that m20.0 you have to mention here in alarm i am mentioning here that uh, in alarm that is it may be emergency press EME, uh, emergency or emergency press emergency press or you can see that is a low pressure you can see here uh, you can mention here low pressure or you can mention here high temperature or you can mention where edge for your refer okay now what what i am going to this one i am going to do the the compile here yes again i am compiling here compiling is going on in the right right side below of this screen now i am going to simulate okay and now i am going to simulation mode here okay then my hmi is going to be in simulation mode okay now hmi is going to my hmi is go okay I'm selecting here. I am minimizing this simulation. Okay. Then I now I am going to create an alarm from. Okay. I am. We have to. We have to see both PLC and in alarm and SMI at a time or simultaneously. So what I have to do? I am. Okay. I am doing this one. Now if I on this one. Okay. You can see here emergency press. 
this one this is the alarm this is my first alarm and you can see here one is mentioned here that means one alarm is active now you can see if you will click again this one then you can see low pressure is on low low pressure is appeared and this is the two two number that means two alarm is there and if i will on this one then third alarm is appeared on hmi display you can see here this is three if i will just pop this one if i have to modify it zero then you can see here this is two that means only two active alarm is present on the system you can modify to zero then this is okay only one alarm is present if i will do okay all alarm are disappeared from pending alarm no any pending alarm if i will again i will clear this one you can see here another alarm if i will see pull on this one this is a okay this is okay you can see alarm is there okay if i will off then the alarm will be disappear from the smi okay like this okay okay if you want detailed video for alarm in uh, types of alarm and uh, you if you need alarm acknowledgement in details video if you want details video in alarm please comment uh, comment the video comment inside the video and uh, i will make uh, i will prepare another another alarm video in details okay thank you thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe the youtube channel